Hello everybody, welcome again to yet another service. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. We are excited that um, you are, you are you're watching us. I um, uh, want to invite you um, to join us in a place of worship and as we lift the Lord's name up high and just feel free to stand, uh, to sing, to dance, uh, whatever, whatever makes you happy. Uh, so yeah, welcome. We lift 
righteousness I did not trust the sweetest frame but only trust in Jesus name Christ alone cornerstone weak made strong in the same So much worship team for leading us through that amazing set and right now we just want to get straight into the sermon today we have yet another amazing speaker her name is maureen maureen is an og to the collective family she may be new to some of you but she's brought so many people to the collective family and we appreciate her for that and maureen also does mission work she's very passionate about that she's very passionate about um reaching out to people 
uh, who are called by God. And right now she just wants to take us through the sermon, which is on God's glory. So we just want to welcome Maureen and we want to ask that God will bless her through this amazing time. I hope you guys will be blessed and I hope you guys will enjoy. Uh, welcome. This is our third week of the series Saved. And today we're going to talk about God's glory. We are saved for God's glory. And uh, when I think about that, uh, I'm reminded of Christ and the cross. And these uh, are referred from the book of Hebrews, chapter 1. Uh, I, have, I have my Bible already opened. I hope you're opening yours. And uh, Hebrews is just right after the book of Philemon. Hebrews chapter 1, verses 3, which says, The sun is the radiance of God's glory and the exact representation of his being, sustaining all things by his powerful word. After he had provided purification for our sins, he sat down at the right hand of the majesty in heaven. Uh, praise God. So here I get to see Christ himself. Christ being the radiance of the glory of God. And uh, uh, through Christ, God is glorified because he came to save us. He came to bring redemption to us. And uh, by him coming here, we get also to see the cross. And uh, by the cross, we receive uh, salvation. That is why Jesus Christ came to die for us. And also, I'd like us to, to read from the book of uh, John, John chapter 17, uh, verses one, which says, Father, the hour has come, glorify your son, that your son may glorify you. Uh, as I continue on verse 2, it says, For you granted him authority over all people that he might give eternal life to those whom you gave him. Uh, so here I'll, we also get to see Jesus Christ and the cross. You see here, uh, this is uh, Jesus praying for himself. He's saying, I read again, verse 1, chapter 17 of John. Father, the hour has come. Glorify your son, that your son may glorify you. Uh, everything we do, everything that happens in our life, it's for the glory of God. Jesus coming to die for us, it was for his glory. Everything that happens in your life, in my life, it is for the glory of God. No matter how good it may be, no matter how bad it may seem, it's all for the glory of God. And we see Jesus himself praying that the hour has come, glorify your son, that your son may glorify you. So. Uh, I would like also to, to ask yourself or to, to let yourself think through your life. You as a Christian, is everything that's happening in your life, are you glorifying God for it? Or you're just complaining because you think, think things are not going the way, the, the way you think they should be going. But one thing I'm reminded is Romans, Romans chapter 8. Romans chapter 8, uh, verse 28, which, which says, and we know that, in all things, God works for the good of those that love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Uh, verse 29 says, For those God foreknew, he also predestined. To whom, uh, sorry, I read again verse 29. For those God foreknew, he also predestined. To be confirmed in the image of his son, that he may be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters. And so we get to see... Uh, Everything works together for good with those that love the Lord. And here, for good, it really doesn't mean it will be good for you. It is good for God to fulfill his purpose. And uh, him fulfilling his purpose, glory goes to him. And so uh, I pray that the Lord may open our hearts to, to the realization of, of his goodness. His goodness doesn't mean it will be good for you. It is good for him. For, for his purpose being fulfilled in your life. How I pray that the Lord may continue instilling it in our hearts, that you may know all glory goes to him, and we shall do everything for the glory of God. We as Christians, we as a people of God, that we are predestined, we are, we are to be conformed to the image of his son, the image of his son whereby we, we go through a lot, we go through very many things, just like Jesus himself. He was whipped, he was... He was beaten, he was crucified just because of my sin and your sin, for all for the glory of God. So it all brings us back to, to Christ and to the cross. Uh, and, uh, and I ask, uh, if, they, if you're watching me right now and you're just wondering what is this girl talking about, I'm talking about Jesus Christ, I'm talking about the cross. Uh, I know in one way or another you have heard about Jesus Christ and uh, 
all he calls us is to is to live for him and living for him uh, brings glory to him it it is just for glorifying him for whom he is and uh, for what he, he will do and how i pray that uh, god will open it in our hearts uh, for 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 eternity may be painted in our in our hearts each and every time that everything that happens in our life it's all for the glory of god and so i'll take this opportunity to pray uh, that god will will help us see his glory in everything that happens in our lives and so let's bow down for a word of prayer uh, father we we are thankful for this for this day we're thankful thankful for this series oh god that indeed you're reminding us everything that happens in our lives is all for the glory and for the goodness of your name how i pray my lord that you may set our hearts right with you jesus that we may be able to appreciate whatever you bring our way oh god that we may learn from you jesus we may learn from your son that when he died it was all for the glory of your name that when he, he rose again that we are now saved and we are continuing uh, to be saved each and every day by, by you working in us, that indeed we may see your glory in each and everything. May you be with us, Lord. May you guide us, O oh God. For those who still don't know you, O oh God, in your own ways, in your all marvelous power, O oh God, may you uh, stretch your mighty hand, O oh God, that you know how to convict your people by your spirit. May you convict them for the glory of your name. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. To me, living for God's glory means um, obedience, um, obedience to his instruction, his command. For me, living for God's glory means uh, being fearless and being courageous. Um, he says in his word that we don't need to be anxious about anything. And that's, that is what I, I want to, to portray even as, I am, as me. For me, living for God's glory means uh, acknowledging and realizing that everything I have ever been and everything I will ever desire to be, everything I'll ever desire to have, uh, any words I'll ever desire to say, all should be able to point back to God and should be able to paint the bigger picture of God in my life, but not only in my life, but in the life of anyone who I will ever come across. Um, to me, living for God's glory means letting go um, of things I can't control and leaving them to Him because he is the author of our life and I know that he causes all things to work together for my good. And um, number two is that, that obedience um, should result in some other people seeing and being attracted to God and, and giving him glory uh, by just seeing how I live my life and how I follow the instructions that God has put in his, in his word. I want to be courageous and I want to be fearless because that's, that's what God wants from me. So, yeah, that's, that's what it means for me. For me, living for God's glory is just what the Bible says in Colossians chapter 1 and verse 10. It's to live a life worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing to Him, bearing fruit in every good work, and increasing daily in the knowledge of who God is. That's what it means.
us during this service. We've had an amazing time, yes? Yes? And we hope that you have a blessed and an amazing week ahead. Yes. Well, you guys, we've come to the end of the service. I hope you guys have been blessed. I hope this month is taking you guys well. Um, please feel free to engage with us on our social media platforms and on WhatsApp. And till next time, my name is Samantha. Stay blessed. Yeah.